Zell Boy Army, what is going on? FC24 is finally alive. EA are starting to give us some real content. This genuinely is one of the best promo teams I have ever seen on any version of any Ultimate team. Um, we've got some top tier players. The mid tiers aren't bad. There is a lot of great cards in this. I've seen people complain saying, oh, we're getting to fodder, and then all oh, we're getting to top tier. I like getting a lot of top tier cards. Hopefully they'll be packable. Um, we're going to go through this as always with my tier list. I talk about every card based on how good the card is. And I'll give you my thoughts on where they all belong. Probably going to be a lot of S tier cards in this one. When I say this is one of the best I've ever seen, that is based on the state of the game where we are right now. I think this is a very good team and a lot of top tier cards. Um, so we're going to go through it. Uh, we'll start with Griezmann. So where is he? Griezmann, not rapid. A hunter on this Griezmann, 90 pace, 99. That uh, finishing, his shot's amazing. He's brilliant on the ball. His passing's great. His physicality is not bad. I would have liked to have seen a weak foot upgrade on this Griezmann. Does he have any extra play styles? I know he's, they've swapped play styles in this promo a lot. Losing gold finesse and getting gold Traveller is a is a downgrade on this card in my opinion. So he had seven before. He's lost acrobatic and they've given him what have they given him instead? I don't see it. Have they given him first touch? They've given him first touch and got rid of acrobatic. That is quite a good upgrade to him. First touch is much much better than acrobatic. Gold Traveller is very nice. But it's definitely a downgrade compared to Gold Finesse. So this Griezmann for me is probably slightly worse than the Gold one in my opinion. Which you might be like, how? But a plus two on pace and stuff. I would honestly rather have the Gold Finesse Griezmann. But it's quite tight. Still a very good card. But I would not be going near whatever this card's going to cost. I'm going to put this Griezmann in A tier. Losing the Gold Finesse and not getting a top tier uh, play style plus. And his freestyle weak foot does hurt the card. Callum Wilson, this is the objective card. Very easy to get. At the absolute worst case, an 86 fodder, not bad. Um, with a Hunter, pretty decent. 99 finishing's great, but he can't pass. His physical's good, but not great. He's very average on the ball, pretty quick. Three star, three star. He does offer. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out iggm.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. First touch, which is decent. Finesse, very good. But he doesn't have a playstyle plus. If he had a playstyle plus, I'd rate him higher. I'm going to put him C tier. If he had a finesse playstyle plus, I'd give him B. But a little bit disappointing, to be honest there. D. Lorenzo, one of the best right backs in the game right now. No playstyle plus for him. I thought they were going to be giving playstyle plus for all of them, to be honest. Uh, he's gained a pinged pass. They have apparently nerfed that a bit, this one. But that is still a nice one to be giving him. Pinged pass, he's got decent passing. It's just a solid upgrade on a card anyway. Plus one on most stats. It's plus one on everything, basically, other than plus three passing. I'm going to put him... At the state of this game, I'm going to give him an A tier, to be honest. I think... On the base of how fullbacks are right now, this Di Lorenzo is one of the best fullbacks, so I have to rate him pretty highly. Acosta, five star, three star. Um, this is MLS. You do have to consider this guy can link to Lionel Messi. Messi's not that expensive, so this is a pretty good link to Messi. That's pretty useful. Um, I would probably be putting a dead eye on him. Makes his shot usable. He's already pretty quick. His dribbling's world. His passing is pretty good with a dead eye. Bit weak, but got good aggression. Um, his play style is no play style plus, but technical, incisive pass. First touch, relentless, Traveller. Very, very good. If you had Di Maria, him, um, Messi, an icon, an Argentinian manager, you're already getting full chem on all of them. That might be genuinely something I might actually consider with this guy. He genuinely looks very, very good. Um, he's pretty much going to be fodder price. I might consider that. I've already got an untradeable Di Maria. Messi's amazing. That's pretty decent. Um, this card's going to be very, very good value and a strong link to Messi, so that's nice. I'm going to put him probably like B tier. 
I don't think he's a mile off these. I just don't think he has quite as crazy all-round stats. Hansen. Hansen, Hansen, Hansen. So, she's still got Trickster. Finesse has turned gold. She had Technical before. She had Flair before. What have they given her now? No, okay. It's the exact same. She's got the exact same uh, card, basically. They've just given her Gold Finesse instead of Gold Trickster. Big upgrade. Gold Finesse is miles better than Gold Trickster. Um, compared to the other card, it's basically... It's pretty much just a plus one on everything, but with a Gold Finesse, with a Hunter. She was already top tier. This card's insane. Definite S tier, in my opinion. One of the very elite attackers in this game right now. Uh, so... We'll go back here. We're now looking at Mbappe. We obviously know Mbappe is going to be S tier. What have they given him then? So he didn't have power shot before. He's getting gold power shot. He's basically lost uh, gold quick step. I was thinking gold quick step was going to be uh, losing that for power shot was going to be a nerf. But the fact he didn't have power shot at all, I mean, this probably is an upgrade on the normal Mbappe. Would I be paying what he's going to cost extra? No. Um, this Mbappe, though, absolutely insane. It's just a ridiculous card. When Marks, when you've got this card's nearly end game, which is crazy. The only thing I can see, really, um, the only way they can really upgrade cards much more is give more gold play style pluses when they're giving this out already. Herrera. Um, not the Herrera I thought. 3-3, free, free, slow, not a very good shot. Very good defending physical. Okay, that. I'm going to put him D tier, like, no, surely no one's bothered about him. Why would anyone want to use that? I don't know why anyone would want to use that card, to be honest. Wagner. MLS, given quite a few MLS cards. And very good play styles on this guy. Free, free, quick, good physicality. Honestly, I've been trying, I've been looking to get Messi in my team. Um... This guy could be the one for that. I've got Rudiger in my team, MLS, German. Yeah, some very interesting players for squad building in this. The more players we get like this, the easier it's going to be to build our different squads. So that's pretty nice. Um, really good physical. Good defending. Very good play styles. I'm going to put him eight here. It's a very good card. Diaz. What have they given him different? So it's basically the same Diaz, but with plus three pace. Uh, and instead of gold bruiser, he's now getting gold anticipate. He didn't have anticipate at all before. This is going to be an amazing card. I just think he might be a bit too slow to, for me to put him top, top S tier. For me, he's going to be top A tier because pace isn't as big a deal this year. But I would have liked to have seen him give like 75 pace or something. And he'd have been right up there for best centre back in the game then. Gold Kunde. He's lost um, sl uh, jockey, gold jockey to normal jockey. Swapping his play style plus from jockey to slide tackle is a nerf, but they've given him bruiser. That is an upgrade to get that as well. Um, compared to the current Kunde, um, quicker. It says the same defending, but too physical. Fair enough. I'm going to put this Kunde S tier. Very, very good. Rodrigo. Uh, this Rodrigo, compared to the normal Rodrigo, has been given a gold first touch and quick step. This is the SBC. I think it's coming in around 350 to 400k. With a Hunter, near 99 pace. Very good shot. I mean, the shot power and long shots are a bit meh, but um, he can hit Travellers. Um, I think he does have Traveller. It doesn't say he has Traveller. I'm sure he has Traveller. Uh, the stamina on him, not bad. The dribbling, very, very good. I think this is a top end A card. Um, honestly, I think this card's better on paper than Griezmann. Four star, four star. He's got very good chemistry as well. I think that apparently a three four four. I honest, I'm not going to do him. I don't think. Um, apparently there's a Blanc SBC room, and I'm going to put put my coins into that. I think because I think Blanc's debatably the best centre back in the game, and he's an icon. But that Rodrigo, well priced in my opinion, especially when you compare him to Liao and Son. Uh, Carolyn Noli. How do I spell it? Caro. Female MLS can link to Dabinia. 4-4. Four, four. 
pretty cheap, quick, decent shot. Finesse technical Flair Travella, very, very good. Good physical. Dribbling. Yeah, she's pretty good. She just adds another card that's usable in that MLS Females League. And um, good link to Dabini. I'm going to put like BT. She's pretty good. Mkhitaryan. So he normally doesn't have a gold play style. Incisive pass gold. Very, very good. Four star, five star on him. Very nice. He's definitely usable in the midfield in my opinion as well. Uh, five star weak for him. Very good. Uh, the passing's brilliant. His shot's good. He plays his card's quite similar to Mostovoy, to be honest. Um, I like this Mkhitaryan, though. I think he's very usable. I think when his price drops a bit, he's going to be very, very good value. I'm going to put him A tier. Salah. So when I knew Salah was losing gold finesse, I was like, that could hurt the card a bit. But he's getting two play stars. Tiki Taka, very, very good. Really nice for being in the press. And gold technical. I love gold technical. Absolutely brilliant. This card is definitely... Is he is he getting rapid now? Um, he's, he's losing chip shot. Um, but he's gained gold technical. No, no, he's still got chip shot, sorry. He's gained gold technical and tiki taka. Um, and compared to his inform, it's basically a plus one. Gold technical, best player style in the game, in my opinion. Finesse... I think gold finesse is amazing, but players would... If you have really good shooting, I find that their finesse is still really good, even with normal finesse. I'd be putting a hawk on this seller. He gets 99 finishing, mid-90s on his shot power long shots. His travellers and his finesse is still going to be amazing. He's going to be one of the best dribblers in the game now with uh, gold technical. This card's insane. Um, him and Hansen, very, very tight. I'll probably put him slightly below, but the top three attackers in this video, incredible. Um, this card, striker with 3-3, free, free, not the best pace. Good physical, though. He's a bit clunky, not the best passing, so we're going to have him here. Bellingham, gold technical on this boy as well. Um, they've given him incisive pass. He's lost slide tackle, but gained incisive pass and gold technical. Two of the best play styles in the game, in my opinion, especially for a midfielder. This Bellingham's going to be ridiculous. Top-tier midfielder, 100% S-tier. Um... The top S tier cards here are very good. Honestly, in another promo, I might have put Di Lorenzo, Griezmann, Diaz, and Rodrigo as S tier, but the promo is just that good in terms of the cards. Really like what EA are doing here. Um, what do you guys think? I'm really impressed with it. There's some insane cards here. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.